let's take a look at the layout of a sea hunter vessel so quite an interesting ship this is uh, a quite modern and very different uh, it's it's a tri hull so and quite quite extensive in its construction so the tri hull you've got aft in the tri hull you've got a well deck so the well deck can launch and recover interceptor drones and sea boats so uh, moving in from the well deck you've got a bay door so there's the bay door and then inside that there's a maintenance area for the interceptor drones and breaching pods so inside the bay door you've got a docking clamp hook um, the interceptors are connected to that in a, an arrangement of three because there's three interceptors and if you come directly below that there's a cradle for the breaching pod so inspection crews board the breaching pod which then connects to the interceptor drone that is then with its docking clamp hook taken out through the bay door over the well deck area and then it is dropped into the water uh, released and of course it shoots out the back and then submerges this is the control room aft of the um, bay maintenance area where operations are monitored from and then there's a stairwell going up and it goes up into the patrol drone bay, a bit like a little helicopter hangar deck on a on a warship, except it's full of patrol drones. Well, three patrol drones, and it's it's a similar layout to the below with the interceptor drones, but it's just mirrored for patrol drones above. So there's three cradles, one patrol drone in each. Those cradles can move out through the patrol drone deck bay door aft onto the flight deck or drone deck and they take off in from the cradle and a docking clamp arm releases them and then they take off from there um, and far to that you've got accommodation and amenities if you go up a level you go up to operations and the psi console so the sea hunter vessel also has a psi console because it's semi-autonomous run by an artificial intelligence so the traditional warship bridge becomes a psi console instead where a duty watchkeeper operates from and we have um, hydrofoils as well so there's the ability to use hydrofoils in the right conditions so they can get up with some quite significant speed on these vessels and they also have acoustic remote cavitation or directed energy weapons that can be deployed subsurface as well as a few other interesting uh, weapons arrays for defensive purposes operating in the area so that's just a quick overview of the sea hunter vessel and we'll leave it at that for now read the novel if you want to find out more about it during the book series